Good morning. Welcome to a new year. It's January the 1st, 2024. Um, a new vlog, a new year it feels pretty good. I'm at the Roaches, one of my favorite places and people who've seen my vlogs before will know this is uh, it's pretty much where I started doing landscape photography and it's got a lot to offer. Uh, what are we going to get out of today? Not sure. I'm not going up Hen Cloud. Instead, I'm going to walk straight up into the Roaches and I'm going to walk along what I think of as sort of middle tier. If you go down that way, you've got the entrance to sort of woodland. Well, not sort of, it's actual. And this way, there's more woodland, but I've never really, I've not done a lot of photography up there. So I thought I'd give it a go. The sun's not quite up, but it's on its way. I don't know if it's going to be spectacular this morning, but probably not. But it looks pretty dramatic and that's good. Uh, rain forecast for later, unfortunately, and the sun will be going away. So I'm definitely gonna, not going to get light past, let's say 10.30. Maybe I'll get lucky and say 11. But I've got a good hour and a half. I'm going to try and make the most of it. Come on, let's go. It's pretty windy today. Uh, in fact, it was windy down there. So you can bet your bottom dollar it's going to be super windy up there. Um, but I'm going to pause uh, just in the area I'm in because the sun is coming up right now and there's a chance maybe of getting a cheeky composition. So uh, I'm going to just take a few minutes, scout around this area. This is a good area to start with, by the way. If you come into the roaches um, and you're at the bottom end by the, by the gate, not roach end, uh, there's kind of two ways to it and I mentioned this is the rocky way and then you've got the woodland way I think if it was your first time visiting the roaches I would take this route maybe go up hen cloud great view up there you can see it on one of my vlogs and then walk along here come up this way up the rocky way and into the trees because you can always go back down into the woods if you want to go back to your car that way and of course you can carry on I better get a wiggle on sun's coming up beautifully um, got some nice color in the sky I, I took this shot already because I just wanted to share this moment with you uh, really looking forward to 2024 I'm hoping this is going to be a great year for, for, my, for my photography for the channel of course which it's also sad today um, and I'll put this at the beginning of the vlog uh, because what I'm going to do is this if this shots worked out all right I'm just gonna take another one I'm not I'm not increasing the um, the settings to let more light because there's more light coming naturally so I don't have to anyway just sharing that with you uh, yeah unfortunately I was informed that one of my followers a chap named Spike Hammond had passed away just before Christmas it seems and that's incredibly sad because Spike was the kind of guy and not just guys of course ladies too but you know it's a bit blokey and He's the kind of guy I was reaching out to, uh, you know, fellas who've passed their 20s and 30s and are perhaps looking to get out and have a bit of adventure. And Spike was a big lad. He was a big lad. I watched his videos on his drone footage, which he was enjoying doing. And he was so uh, very positive. He commented on the on the vlogs and went over and out to look at his stuff. Um, definitely a chap I would have loved to have met up with and yeah he's passed away how sad is that so guys you know use this as a bit of a bit of a wake up i think that you know we've only got this time let's enjoy it okay anyway uh, spike if there's any way you can hear me and certainly to spikes friends and family uh all the best this is for you mate <laughs> Okay, folks photography um, so I've moved up a little bit sun on my face nice and uh, I'm gonna try and get a shot with the Sun to the left of hen cloud and the start of the road is here listen every shot I take now everybody else is taking it there's nothing exceptional it's just getting it right for me okay and then hopefully 
maybe something you can uh, have a look at and think, yeah, yeah, I can do better than that. Uh, I've got nice cloud. I like this. So I'm going to try and whiz with this. Going to work at about f8. Um, the aperture is just going to be according to what the light's doing to me. Uh, ISO 100, of course, because anything above that is hateful. Um, but, but we will talk about that at a later stage. So yeah, I'm going to take this shot and uh, then I'm going to move further up and into the trees because the sun's going to come rolling up and hopefully light those trees up quite nicely. Maybe not, but we'll see. Okay, headed up to the top bit of the roaches now. Really pleased to say uh, I reached 800 subscribers, so thank you all. Uh, welcome, welcome to all the new people. Uh, hopefully you've seen my back catalogue, you know what you're dealing with. <laughs> and uh, you're gonna stick around. Uh, I go some great places. I've got okay gear, you know, so I'm not, I'm not walking around with like 10 grand cameras or 10,000 pound lenses. Uh, I'm, I'm blessed, I have got a nice camera, so. But I use my iPhone, I uh, happily use a 50 quid DSLR if need be. So there's, there's no airs and graces here. Um, yeah, 800 subscribers, thank you. Uh, if you don't know much about me, uh, well, of course, I'm Ed Scalson. Uh, I love getting around the peak. I do these vlogs uh, for my own entertainment, but also to try and encourage people uh, who don't already to get out to the peak and if they don't have a hobby uh, that may be photography for them because you get to combine incredible nature healthy exercise and the creative arts as well you too could become a camera wanker Whew, nice bit here this little promontory just sort of leads there you stand on the edge of there with your tripod take your life in your hands and then get a big vista shot i've got the 15 to 28 lens on this has been a great purchase by the way really happy with this uh, it's even better when craig yates hasn't got a wide angle lens and i have but other than that <laughs> uh, this is perfect perfect for this kind of shot where you want to get a lot of features into your landscape shot okay so if i want to get these in and the sun and the rocks over there and get the clouds in i can do it because i've got all of that real estate to play with so 15 to 28 purchased this year love it and i'll tell you a few other things about this year that i like as well and uh, hopefully uh, it's a good recommendation for you kind of like this big rock here gonna do do a shot what have i got it set at do a shot at about 28 mil um so i'm taking in the cord oh, come on eddie I don't obviously I can't do anything with all this it's going to just blow the bleeding exposure out of the water but try and get this corner bit in just to give it a bit of light texture I don't know if that's a thing uh, and then obviously you get the light hitting the big rock which is nice before it gets too bright and then capture some of this as well so I'll use the wider angle to do that and then I think I'm going to switch over maybe go 50 mil just get the rock see how that works that might not be good but we'll see uh, but I just like it and then uh, sort of push comes to shot, go 7200 uh, to try and sort of bring a bit of the back forward, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to do it now because the sun isn't waiting for me. <laughs> quick shot here not sure it's going to work not the bending tree there oddly enough I mean people take pictures of it I just think it looks goofy but um, here see how the lights catching the tips of the trees here then you've got Tittersworth Reservoir uh, just behind there some nice looking big bodied trees I'm gonna give it well I don't have high hopes for this one but it could work it could look all right I don't know we'll see Instagram it's good for Instagram let's do that let's do it for Instagram All right, all right, I've done one of the bent tree with the iPhone for you, calm down. Coming up now. Uh, 
I'm trudging along here a bit fast, so I'm gonna have to wait a bit for the sun to rise and start hitting into the, the area ahead. So I'll just keep pottering around this bit here. And while I'm waiting for the sun to do its thing, uh, I'll tell you about my purchases in 2024 that so far I've been really happy with. So first up, this thing, PGY Tech, um, quick release clip, really good. Now it was a toss up between this and the Peak Design. To be perfectly honest, the Peak Design was out of stock. So I didn't buy it, I got this and I thought, oh, I hope it's good. It's been brilliant, absolutely bright. Not let me down, super tight. I bought additional, um, like the Arca plates, bought additional plates but for this, so I can pop this on here, pop it on my tripod. This is new, of course, if you saw the, there you go, if you saw the last vlog, you know, this is a three-legged thing. Um, I did the pros and cons of that, I'm not gonna go over them again. But this, this is where I would use this tripod for sure. Super lightweight for me. Uh, I got it, I think, cheap, 80 quid. It's been brilliant. So, But I've only just had this, so give me a couple of months of use, and then we'll talk about it. But this, all through the year, fantastic. I'm very happy, and I think I would be with the um, Peak Design. So I'm, I'm not really recommending this as a particular brand, but just that the concept, that this is a concept, is a fantastic addition to my equipment uh, it's really good to be able to just take the, the camera on and off and put it on on a few different mounts you know not just this tripod but i've got a little mini tripod as well with the same sort of thing and I'm, i do mean mini sun's doing stuff it's going to hit some clouds uh so what else have i had that's been super good so the 15 mil lens we discussed absolutely delighted with that um of course the canon r5 was new this year but this you know no brainer into it. it's going to be good isn't it uh, it could have been a nikon could have been a sony it doesn't matter when you're spending this kind of money on a camera you would expect a good one it's a good one um so that's been good what else have i had oh my sling yes this beast really really happy with this this has been fantastic um i just want that compact tripod now it's going to be a bit of a heft though quite a few few quid for that but this this is fantastic this was definitely needed for what i do as a vlogger as well as a photographer i think it's just as a normal photographer uh, you could take it and leave it but as a vlogger to be able to move my lenses in and out and i've got all my gear my sound gear, everything i need to hand that i need quickly i utilize through this and so i do recommend it i think this is great um but yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't use it if I was. If I was just taking, well, if I was just taking photographs, actually, I would use this. <laughs> I wouldn't bring my big bag. But uh, yeah, recommended. Right, sun is going behind some trees, which is a bit, bit crap. Uh, clouds moving across. It should be all right. I'm going to move in that way anyway. Try and spot some compositions, and then I'll just wait for the the light to come up. Oh, and I'm going to break out MB. What is MB? If you saw the last vlog, you saw MB. You know I like to name things.
going to get that shot. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use the iPhone and drop down behind this rock so it cuts out the sun and I can get that rock. I like the trees down behind it. Maybe the iPhone won't pick that up in all fairness. Probably need the big boy on, but I like it. I'm going to take a shot and that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to cheat by dropping the phone behind this rock, peeking out from the side, block the sun, take the picture. Job's a good one. Might weird, it got windy if I put the hat on, but for those who were wondering uh, and who haven't seen the last vlog, MB is a 150 to 600 mil lens and it's ridiculous. Well, the wind's dropped, which is good. Um, so on the edge, of the sort of up a bit of the road to now. Uh, hang cloud back there, very hard to see I know because that's super bright sun. Uh, but I'm going to try and use that to my advantage for this photograph. Because I don't have mist, uh, I want to try and get some texture. So I'm, I'm going to let that diffused sun encompass the image, uh, hopefully. There's a bit of haze as well, so um, that will help. Uh, there we go. And I've got foreground here. There's an interesting set of rocks. They're hard to do. Just down there. See, so you've got patches of interest all around the scene, I think. I've done another shot a bit further back and lowered down. Because the other thing I've got is I don't have a hood on the lens. Uh, so lens flare is an issue. So we're, hopefully this will work. What I'm going to do once I've done this uh, prob I'm probably going to have a cup of tea actually, I don't know, might do, might have a cup of tea. Uh, I'm going to wander back down, I'm not going over to Doxy's pool today, I'm going to go back through the trees at the bottom and then head back down to my car and uh, do a wrap up there, but for now, that's it, it's worth in the back there. Lovely. Um, yeah, so do the shot, bang it up for you if it's worked, if it hasn't, just pretend it never happened get down to the tree, see if we can find anything interesting there. Now the sun is up high, it's going to hopefully add some light down there that's going to be interesting. Probably got about another hour, I think, and then I'll be on my way. Let's, uh, let's get this done and rock, start rocking and rolling. Absolutely loving the light playing along these little lumps in the ground and through the trees. It's a bit bright, a bit bright at the back. No way that's not going to overexpose. Done a lot of bracketing today, I'll admit it. Don't like doing it, but I've, I've had to do it. Else half the shots aren't going to work at all. I've done this, I've done this shot before, I've done the scene before, but it, it's different every time. It's quite a bit of uh, gloss from the damp, from the wet ground. So that's quite nice. It's a bit of a bit of a heat haze that's just risen. wasn't there this morning. Now with the sun up, it's started to rise. So it's worth shooting. It's worth getting it. Uh, I banged this shot up. I was going to get a brew, but you know I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get myself back home now. It's New Year's Day, and I'm gonna see my folks. Hopefully see the kids as well. And uh, yeah turn this into a vlog and get it uploaded for y'all thanks so much for getting me to 800 subscribers means a lot um i hope there's more to come hope you enjoy it uh do come to the roaches come to my favorite haunt look at that and i'll see you for the next one bye for now